I am Paul Toll from PaulToll.com and tonight I'm going to show you another video uh, about an installation of Metal Gear Solid which got released on uh, Jujuda.com and it's also, this also gave me the opportunity to, uh, to show you uh, the PortiKit uh, 4.0 beta installation. <clears throat> so um, yeah, let's get started. Um, First of all, um, I'm here on Big Sur, as you can see here. So PortiKit 4.0 is really advised for uh, the SIP enabled uh, you know, Catalina and um, Big Sur. Um, well, um, for all the testing I've done, um, it is uh, the case that when it works on Catalina, it will also work uh, on a Big Sur. So that's uh, a great, uh, great news. Um, I've been testing a lot of games at the moment also because of uh, PortiKit 4.0. Uh, this is PortiKit uh, uh, 4.0, as you can see here. And this is the old uh, one you well you uh, used to you see a little uh, some changes with the uh, icons that it is now uh, there it is uh, names like a little bit steam like um, but um, more about that in another video but uh, let's focus on Metal Gear Zolet so um, I've uh, metal edit uh, the source of a gg.com as you can see here um it's also the case that um if you don't own the game yet you can get it from uh gg.com click on the link and you can uh, purchase it here and then uh, you can uh download it on your uh, game library so download the setup uh dot uh Exa, and you have to choose, of course, for the offline backup game installer file. Don't download the blue button thingy, that's the GOG Galaxy one, but the offline backup game installer file. Download it. If you download it in your uh, download folder, then you are able to install it. So let's get to the installing part. So this is the, the wrong one, I think. No, this is the good one. You can see it on the on the, the, the uh, on the names here. So what I'm gonna do is I've downloaded the setup file already in my download folder, and I click on the install button. And then you can choose which one. Well, the Gita conversion. Well, as you can see here, as a so it shows you also that you have to download the offline backup game installer file. And sure, I've uh, done that. Click on next, next. All right, and here the first change starts because you're probably used to uh, that it will automatically select now the the setup file, but now you have to uh, select it manually first. So in this case, it is uh, Metal Gear Solid, Metal Gear Solid One here, and then you will see it will create the wrapper. It will uh, do all the magic, but. Uh, what the difference is between um, PortiKit uh, 3.0 in the earlier days, it first uh, recognized uh, automatically the setup file, but now you have to select it first. Um, this is just because of uh, some changes the Mac OS uh, did, and uh, now you will see that it will automatically recognize it, but you had to first select it first in the start. All right, let's click install. This will install the game. And then I'm going to show you a little bit of uh, gameplay. Um, the difference between the um, CD version is that um, the GG the com, uh, com version is DRM free. And um, yeah, you can, uh, uh, it, it works almost out of the box. You only have to do some uh, uh, control changes. I haven't checked this out with uh, a controller, but uh, with keyboard, I always played it in the past. In the earlier days, you didn't have a controller as well. So Q 
keyboard is uh, my advice to use. All right, it gives some errors at the end, but that's nothing to worry about. Click on exit, and then uh, the installation should be finished. Close. And you will see here that it goes to um, alphabetic, uh, uh, alphabet order. So you can click on this one to start it, or you can click here on play. And let's, that's what we're going to do. And as you can see, uh, in a few seconds, you will uh, see it will start straight away uh, full screen. Okay, let's start a new game. I'll use very easy just to quickly show. Uh, press enter. Uh, I think it was tab. All right, shift. Uh, anyway, you can, can uh, quickly go through uh, the, the stuff here, clicking uh, on shift. All right, what I know is that uh, with shift you can uh, sit and stuff like that. If you press escape and you can go to uh, controller options, then uh, you have to go to move left and stuff like that. You press and enter here, move left, and you uh, press uh, left. And if you go below here and you go to right, and if you go uh, moving up, you press move up. And move down is also important. You press the down cursor key. It says here num blah blah blah, but those are my cursor keys which I uh, I selected. And then uh, it's a matter of uh, apply. And then I go back, continuing. And as you can see here now, I can walk. That's very good. And you still shift. It's not really a problem for me. The control is... Uh, well, I can select with A. And scope with S. Ooh, that's nice. So I will... Uh, I will with control make an end of the guy. Ooh. Fresh. Oops, control. Another Russian. All right, with tab, I can go to uh, and press enter. Don't run over puddles. The splashes might alert your enemies. Ah, yes, but nice. All right, let's go. Let's go wait for the guy to come in. Well, first those uh, titles needs to be uh, away before the elevator will come by. Holy oh, shit. <laughs> so if you want to play it easy, very easy, you <laughs> get this automatic weapon. Okay. 
Blah 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 blah. It's just that I know the game, so. Uh, over 18 hours left. Ooh. I played this uh, a lot in the old days. The bright the bright thought thought. Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's right. Hey. Alright, there we go. Yep, that's too bad. Exit. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, see you back on Portal to Calm. And um, yeah, yeah, as you can see here, a quick sneak peek of boarding kit for the Zero as well. So um, we'll be released very, very, very soon. Um, I think we are one of the late. Uh, I think one of the last uh, last built at the moment. So if all goes well now, then we can uh, release the beta for the public. So uh, mm, keep watching uh, the blog and uh, stay tuned. And um, yeah, enjoy the pointing kit and uh, spread the word. Bye bye.